For three years, they fought to save their churches, and tonight they continue to savor the news that it's a fight they've apparently won. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us live from outside one of the 13 churches. And John, what happens next? The ball right now, officially, Chris, is in uh, Bishop Lennon's court. He's got 60 days to decide whether or not to appeal these 13 decrees that are formally restoring the rights of St. Emmerich's and a dozen other churches. We are coming home. We are St. Pat's and we are family. Thank you. March celebrations of St. Patrick are nothing new, but few carry the emotion that this one did. Parish residents drawn together to see for themselves the decree from the Vatican restoring their parish and a dozen others. It's like after all this work, all this time, all this commitment, we finally see some of the fruits of our labor. Christine LaSalvia knows about labor. She wrote the brief that argued the case of Lakewood St. James Parish. But I never, ever believed that it was possible that we could win. That's not to say she didn't think their case had merit. She did. It just wasn't precedent for the church doing something like this. It was just an act of faith that maybe the Vatican would see it and they'd read it and they'd agree with us, but it's, it's, it was a huge long shot. This has never happened before. It was three years ago this month that Bishop Richard Lennon announced that 50 churches were closed in the eight county diocese, including the 13 ordered restored. The decree from the Congregation for the Clergy says Lennon violated both church law and procedure. He now has 60 days to appeal. I don't, can't read his mind. Like I said, I hope and pray that he maybe realizes that Rome has spoken. Figuring out how to do this, though, on merged parishes, the finances, everything, won't be easy. But these parishioners argue if they want it easy, they never would have headed down this path. I think we're all up to that challenge. Uh, we have been on the journey for three years, and we just want to go back home. And the folks at St. Patrick tell me while they await the bishop's next move, they hope at very least they plan to ask him to allow them to say Mass a week from Saturday at their old church, March 17th, the feast day of St. Patrick. Reporting live in Cleveland, John Kosick, News Channel 5.